I just made a laser-guided blowgun for under $3, but don't let its simplicity fool you. It's powerful enough to break glass and even blast darts into concrete. In this project, we're making a custom laser-sighted blowgun that not only looks cool, but adds another dimension to the fun you can have in the backyard. Let's start this project with a roll of scotch tape, a stack of sticky notes, and a paper party hat. I'm using the small 2x2 squares, and if we wrap one carefully around the tip of the hat, the cone shape acts as a forming guide for making a pointy paper dart. We'll need a little bit of tape to reinforce the tip and hold it all together, so when it slides off, it'll still keep its conical shape. Now watch what happens if we push the tip into a half-inch PVC tube and give it a little twist. You can see the pressure leaves a little mark right where it starts getting too big for the tube. Let's carefully trim along the inside edge of the marking, and just like that, we've made a mini paper dart that'll fit perfectly inside the blowgun barrel. But it's not quite ready to use yet. We still need to add some weight to the tip so they'll fly straight. I found one of the quickest and easiest ways to do that is to squirt a little hot glue inside the cones until they're about a third of the way full. If you don't have hot glue, try pulling off a little piece of poster putty instead and shove it down into the tip with something like a screwdriver. That'll work just as good. Alright, we've got some paper darts. All we need now is a blowgun, so let's work on making that next. I went to the hardware store and picked up a two-foot length of half-inch PVC pipe and a reducing adapter. This female adapter is three-quarters of an inch on one side and reduces to a half-inch slip connector on the other. Now if we simply push the adapter onto the tube and give it a little tap, we've just created a super simple blowgun that can be used right away. You can see the weighted darts fly amazingly straight and will take out paper cups with an impressive amount of power. They're just strong enough to do a little damage, but still safe enough to shoot around the house. Not that you should, but you could. Alright, let's take this system to a whole new level with a roll of duct tape and some wire nails. I got this roll of camouflage tape from the hardware store, and we'll need to start by putting a long strip on the table with the sticky side facing up. Now watch this. If we carefully set the pipe lengthwise in the center of the tape, then gently rock it from side to side, the tape will start to wrap itself around the tube. Doing the same thing with a second piece of tape will cover any gaps, and just like that, our blowgun's got a custom camel wrap. Now just add some electrical tape around the tip of the barrel and around the mouthpiece to cover the rough edges and make it look a little nicer. At this point, you can see our blowgun is starting to look pretty serious, so let's get busy making some rounds of ammunition that are a little more serious as well. I'm using number 16 and number 18 wire nails because they're relatively lightweight and have a nice flat head on the top. You can see when a nail gets pushed through an empty paper cone, it instantly transforms into a high-speed nail dart. It'll work fine just like this, but to make it a little more durable, try adding a dab of hot glue on the inside of the cone, then pulling down on the nail until the head catches firmly at the bottom. They'll need about two minutes for the glue to cool and harden, so while we're waiting, why don't we try making something a little different? A stack of colored sticky notes will make different colored darts, and just for fun I snipped the tips off these purple ones and drove small screws deep into the glue. I call these ones my glass breakers, and you'll see how they got that name in just a minute. Now if you want to experiment with different types of darts, you can really use any length of nail you want. Smaller darts will be easier to shoot and fly faster, while heavier darts will penetrate deeper and do more damage. Now that we've got some good ammunition, we're going to need a way to store it. I found a 6 foot length of half inch foam pipe insulation for a little over a dollar, and tried cutting little donut shapes off the end about 3 quarters of an inch thick. I used some electrical tape to reinforce the outside of the disc, then just for looks, used a black marker to color the foam a little bit darker. The next step is to make another foam disc the exact same way, then slide both of them onto the barrel of the blowgun. At this point, we're ready to modify the quiver so it'll carry 8 rounds of ammunition. I found a Phillips head screwdriver and carefully heated it over a flame for about 20 seconds. That gets it just hot enough to burn little holes into the foam on contact. Just make sure you're only burning holes in the top disc because we're going to want the bottom one left intact. You can see the eight holes we made, space the darts evenly, and guide the nails as they push down into the padding below. These makeshift quivers keep all the darts securely in place while protecting the tips of the darts at the same time. Alright, our customized blowgun is looking pretty impressive, and we could stop here, but let's go one step further and give it a laser. I picked up a red laser pointer from the dollar store and hot glued it eight and a half inches back from the tip of the barrel, then reinforced it with a couple of zip ties for durability. The thing I like best about these $1 lasers are how one button operates an LED flashlight while the other activates a laser sight, making this system operable in the dark. Now I got a slightly better laser from the pet section of the grocery store and turned it into a custom laser scope that complements the gun really well. With this setup, the position of the laser can be fine-tuned with amazing precision, which you can see results in surprisingly accurate shots. Alright, now that we've got a custom laser-guided blowgun, let's have some fun. 
I took mine outside and found that the darts easily penetrate into wooden posts without even trying. They'll also stick into tree trunks or completely abuse the side of a wooden deck like the one on my kid's playhouse. I was able to hit some targets from over 100 feet away, and if I missed, the darts just sailed right into the concrete wall behind it, which actually blows my mind completely. I still don't really know how these stick into cinder block, but they do. For one last experiment, I tried loading one of the glass breaker rounds and fired at a glass full of water. Needless to say, they do live up to their name. Now you've probably realized that if you use different rolls of tape, you can customize your blowgun any way you want. And if you want a safer kind of ammo, try using colored mini marshmallows. They're the perfect fit for half-inch PVC and can be shot safely, but still with incredible accuracy. Well, now you know how to make an incredible laser-guided blowgun that'll rattle off nail darts with power and precision. The best part is, if you make these in bulk, they can cost as little as $2.50 each, and that's including the $1 laser. Well, that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, I had a lot of fun developing this project and I'm really excited because this one is cheap and easy enough that anyone can do it. I want to give three of the blowguns from this video to three of you, and I'm happy to pay out of my pocket to ship it to you wherever you are in the world. What I'm asking for in return are just two things. Number one, follow me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and any of the other social media sites. And number two, share one of my videos or post a project that you've tried using the hashtag TheKingOfRandom. On February 4th, which is exactly one week from today, I'll look up everyone who's used the hashtag TheKingOfRandom and choose three of you to get a blowgun. Have fun making and sharing this project, and if I choose you as a winner on Wednesday, I'll send you a private message, workout shipping details, then ship it to your house for free wherever you are in the world. I appreciate you for supporting and sharing my videos, and I'll talk to you in the next project video. Bye.